Decoding the phrase, PTA bylaws. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to delve into a specific term that you might come across in educational contexts or in community meetings, PTA bylaws. By the end of this video, you will not only understand what it means but also the importance behind these two words when paired together. First and foremost, it's crucial to break down the term. The acronym PTA stands for Parent Teacher Association. This is an organization that consists of parents and teachers aiming to facilitate parental participation in schools. PTAs often play a significant role in bridging the communication gap between parents and educators, and they help in organizing school events, fundraising, and supporting educational activities. Now that we understand PTA, let's move on to the word bylaws. Bylaws are a set of rules or guidelines that an organization follows to ensure smooth operations. Think of them as the internal manual for how the organization functions. They cover aspects like membership, meetings, roles of officers, and decision-making processes. Bylaws are essential for maintaining order and consistency within any group or organization. When we combine the two concepts, PTA bylaws refer to the specific rules, guidelines, and procedures that a PTA follows. These bylaws are usually established when the PTA is formed and can be amended as needed by the membership. They ensure that everyone understands their roles and responsibilities, how meetings are to be conducted, and how decisions are made. For instance, a PTA's bylaws might dictate how often meetings should take place, the process for electing PTA officers, how funds raised by the PTA are to be used. Understanding the bylaws of a PTA is crucial for members to participate effectively and make meaningful contributions to their child's educational environment. So there you have it. PTA bylaws are essentially the guiding principles and rules of a parent-teacher association. They help ensure that PTAs function efficiently and effectively, aligning their actions with the shared goal of supporting and enhancing the educational experience of students. We hope this explanation clears up any confusion and assists you in better comprehending discussions around school activities and community involvement. Stay curious, and happy learning!